Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Are we having the funeral of APC so soon? By Kemi Tim. I think so solidifying in struggling is more rancor proven than bonding in victory. In 2013, the PDP gulped from the crisis to one another until he plowed and lost power in Central by 2015. APC appears to be tossing same parts since the party crisis to power. It has been embroidered in tremendous wangling and wriggling of twines of problem. To say the obvious, the APC was never a party in the real sense of the word, but a special purpose vehicle to grab power. To put it literally, it was just a club of disarray people, disrespected, and they wanted to grab power at all means. The party and personalities, Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, Congress for Progressive Change, CPC, All Nigerian People Party, ANPP, and the new PDP that dissolved into the APC has nothing in common. The only common ground all puts is strongly on anonymously enemy was former President Goodluck Jonathan. Why Bola Tinubu ACN was somewhat liberal and attempt to resuscitate what was left, let's emphasize the center. President Muhammad Buhari, CPC, had a conservative outlook. Struggles bed folds. Soon after the APC braced into victory in 2015, the two organic political parties in the union, ACN and CPC, squatted through, although they became united when shaping the spoils of war and in dealing with discriminatory hand in the disgusted immigration form of PDP. A cast quickly developed into the party while the CACN bribed and the CPN groom became obvious. Other groups which worked themselves into the merger became outcasts and expanded beggars. This largely affected the leadership crisis in the party at the National Assembly. Again, when political parties do not rule on ideologies but on interests, there is bound to be head on collision. Obviously, the merger which resulted in the castination of APC was oxygenated by one interest to grab power. But the broken of the deal did not work. After we took over power, what next? How do we manage it? How do we manage the pool of interest? How do we deliver good governance to Nigerians? In July 2018, John Odioto was removed as the national chairman of the APC months before his disdainment. There were protests for his sack. He was accused of imposing candidates at all levels on the party, of violating the party constitutions, of working against Buhari, of being high-minded, of being responsible for the leadership's charms in the National Assembly. But, uh, but are some of these not the same allegations banged on the neck of Adam Soshomole, the suspended national chairman of the APC, just as some APC governors worked actively for Oyegon, remover at the time? His current governors are also mobilizing resources against Soshomole. There have been protests for his neck and sack as well, and even some leaders of the party have publicly asked him to resign. In January, Mustafa, APC Deputy National Chairman Northeast, said Ushomole should not regard, be regarded as the chairman since he was suspended by his state chapter of the party. He said this while speaking with journalists at the end of the National Working Committee meeting at the party. He, hear him. I am here just to give a brief of what transpired just now. The legality that has just transpired now. This has proven that the party, since Adam Sushomole took over, 
has not been making forward progress. We also want to follow up with the suspension of the national chairman to know the status whether or not, as we speak, he's fit to be the national chairman or whether the court order is still suspending, which before the end of today, I will let you know. I will find out if there is any court order that vacates it. If there is no court that vacates it, I will produce the sustainable court order for you and publish it and write to INEC as DSS and the DSS. It should not be recognized as the national chairman of APC. In February, the Progressive Governors Forum ridiculed Oshomole in a leaked memo. It said the party can no longer win election under him. It said persistent weaknesses of the chief John led NWC serves as justification for elected governor, God's elected comrade Adam Sushomole as replacement of Chief Oyego. Sadly, challenges of the internal de democracy and fair competition practices during the candidates' selection process and the party remain a dream. Never clearly the problem associated with candidates' selection process that produce what they can regard as a electoral collective body. Citizens can vote. Our Supreme Court will eventually determine the winner, all as a result of very poor management of candidate selection process by our party. Unfortunately, our party national working committee is hardly able to come up with any reassuring response. The crisis in the party is clearly getting worse and worse by the day. It has gotten to a strange stage whereby the competitions of membership and the comrades of Shomoles led NWC to provoke needful leadership to ensure victory in every election has been eroded. As a matter of fact, it appears that the only seal in the crack of the APC at the moment is Buhari, and by 2023, when he leaves office, it will be the sign of the gulp of APC crisis, and this will be worsened as the party will never be was never meant to be, will be dissolved beyond recognition. Well, my people, now so then talk and say APC as a party is, is greatly fractionized and things are not going well in the party. Um, they pointed out that um, this and some other things, has, this that you've heard and some other things have been happening. Uh, starting from um, the former person who was asked to leave office. So they said um, APC is like a wagon that has no you know, came up together all in the beat to get um, good luck Jonathan out of office. Now, all they wanted to do was to grab power. No problem. You saw the numbers of party that came together. They fought so strongly. And I guess what? They won. Uh, after winning the election, some were neglected, some were felt like outcasts, and some became, uh, two particularly became the bride and groom. But on becoming the bride and groom, what next for APC? What next for APC? Because all that same nice, like the party is falling apart. And um, I mean, the person that was, uh, that Oshomole replaced, uh, the accusation was um, <clears throat> he wasn't moving the party in the right direction. You know, so he wants to, he, he said he was not uh, encouraging the party to win and all that. Guess what? <clears throat> All the allegations, you know, said he came with a tail flock first wife. He's still there back of the door, you know, far. The same allegations that were on the previous APC chairman that made him leave office, the same allegations all on the person of Adam Soshomole as we speak. And that was what led to him being, uh, you know, having problem with APC and the whole issue started. And guess what? He was, first of all, suspended from his home front. I'm talking about from Edo State, his own capital and uh, his own chapter. And because of that, I, I guess what? Other governors quickly capitalized on it and said, yes, so you've been suspended. How can you still be our chairman? Immediately, you know, everybody started, you know, picking on it. And before you know it, hmm, but I don't pass Gary, it has become a serious issue. And uh, before Oshomole could realize what is happening, the matter don't reach court. A lot and lot and lot has gone into the issue and the matter. And uh, almost, it was almost suspended until he was reinstated. So the truth is, in Nigeria, we don't need to bother about the party, whether APC, PDP. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing here is somebody who truly loves the people, who is coming with a heart to govern 
who is coming to, with a heart to make sure that the common man feel the effects of democracy. That's what we should be craving for and we should be looking forward to. Neither APC or PDP will make Nigeria great, I tell you. It's a servant leader's heart that will make this nation stay in the right direction. And that's why we are clamoring for it today. And we are calling out to say, everyone who truly lo loves Nigeria, please give your best, do your best. Don't allow anyone to intimidate you. You have a voice, use it. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. You have a voice. Please use it. Don't allow yourself to be intimidated by anybody. God bless you. Bye for now.